We're here tonight at the studio at 620. My name is Bob Devin Jones, and I'm st standing here with my good friend James Whittinghill. How are you doing? It's Joey Clay. Joey Clay. It's Joey Clay in the house. And we are honoring Ostrid and G. David Ellis by naming the back gallery space after them, which was first inaugurated with a, name, a woman named Linda Newcomb, who's here. She was a refugee from Hurricane Katrina, and she's here tonight. And that's what it's about. It's the community coming together to shout out. And we wanted something really special for this special night. And in the last ensuing months, I've gotten to know James, and so I said, this would be perfect for him. He said yes. Uh, he would be uh, well, delighted to do it, I guess. And so that's why we're starting off the first official show in the Ellis Gallery with uh, some extraordinary photography by Mr. James Whittingham. Tonight we're going to be seeing through the eyes of my city and it's basically just brief moments of people that I just encounter with during the day um, throughout my daily routines and my, my goal is to basically just capture the raw essence of the beauty of the person itself. So this is Sabio Masonette and he is a, a friend of mine and the day we were, um, I shot this picture, we were shooting a video for him and at the moment I stopped rolling on the video to take some stills because at that moment in time as you see the sailboat and I, I noticed the clouds and you see how it's all in line right here, um, I basically just I, I, I felt I needed to take a still instead of do video on that moment, and it came off pretty good. Um, he's a hip hop artist, and he likes to, uh, you know, preach his poetry, and um, that was just a, a very fun day that um, I experienced with him, and that's how I captured that image. And over here we have uh, George from the alley. George is a uh, is a gentleman I see almost every day in the morning or on my lunch hour when I go grab coffee at Cabo. And um, basically he was taking some shots during the day and he approached me actually and he's like, hey, what are you doing? I was like, well, I'm just taking photographs, you know, just, you know, just doing my thing. He's like, would you like to take a picture of me? And so that's how this picture came about. And I prompt him over to the edge. And then as you see, we have a little bit of dimension in there. and. Um, you know, it's capturing his raw essence of the person he is. I can't really explain it to the fullest, but I hope you have a, your own feeling about it. And over here, this actually is the first edition of Through the Eyes of My City. Um, this gentleman was just sitting on a park bench and just basically just being to himself. And I was taking photographs. And he, uh, me and him start talking about 15 minutes, and I asked him if I could take his portrait. So that it goes along with through the eyes of my city. This is how you know, the whole story came about because it's my daily routine and brief positive moments with a positive person. Um, over here, this is the inviting soul. Um, just take a look at his eyes. I really don't want to say too much about him. I just want you to feel feel this uh, this kid's eyes and his persona. And the last photo here that we have, everybody should know who he is. Um, this is my daily routine. Also, I uh, I go to Kawa. I have my camera, and Bob and I were just discussing just our day, and um, I asked him just to hold still for a second and I captured that point in time. Um, Bob, is, Bob is the reason why I'm here and I just want to say thank you to him and to everybody who's in my life actually at this moment. So thank you. Through the eyes of my city.